Let's talk about the parotid gland. Um, the parotid gland is located uh, on the superficial face as it sits right on top of that masseter muscle. And the masseter muscle is one of those principal muscles of mastication that you see that when you clench the jaw, as Tom Cruise does in many of his movies, you the clenching masseter pushes this parotid gland out and that's what forms this little bulge on the side of the um, ramus of the mandible. That's where our parotid is located. And the parotid duct you see flashing there is what's going to course through the front of the parotid gland and then dump into and pierce this buccinator muscle which then on the internal surface of the buccinator is where that opening is by the second maxillary molar as well as the 15th maxillary molar is where those two parotid ducts dump in saliva into the oral cavity. <coughs> um, coursing along the parotid duct is the buccal branch of the facial nerve. It's either right along parallel or just inferior to the parotid duct as it's making its way to the um, orbicularis oris and other muscles of facial expression that move the mouth. In this cadaveric prosection, the turquoise shows the, uh, the body of that parotid gland. And then recognize when we draw the uh, angle and then ramus of the mandible and the dotted lines, recognize how the parotid courses around the bottom and the posterior surface of this mandible. Um, the function of the parotid gland is to make saliva. And then saliva helps to one, digest carbohydrates, but it also helps form this bolus of food during mechanical gestion of breaking down food into little bits. And then kind of think of saliva as packing it together to make this snowball we call a bolus, which is then swallowed. What is the parotid gland? When does the parotid gland know when to make saliva? Well, you then have to innervate it. So the innervation of the parotid gland is it's the gland that is not innervated by cranial nerve 7. Because remember, 7 makes you cry, closes your eye, tastes pie, innervates all the glands in the head except for the one it goes through, which is the parotid gland. And that's why cranial nerve 9, the glossal pharyngeal nerve, is what gives innervation. So in this black and white illustration, the glossal pharyngeal nerve is outlined there in yellow. And with any parasympathetic innervation, and this is the visceral motor parasympathetic innervation of cranial nerve 9 that is going to innervate the parotid gland, we then see a preganglionic parasympathetic neuron in the medulla that sends this axon out cranial nerve 9 and then ooh, hitchhikes on to cranial nerve V-3 where there is a, a ganglion that hangs off of the trunk of V3 called the otic ganglion which then the postganglionic parasympathetic neuron arises and hitchhikes on to the parotid gland via the auriculotemporal nerve, a branch of V3, which then innervates the parotid gland. And there we have the innervation, which is visceral motor parasympathetic from cranial nerve 9. The images, uh, prosections from Mark Nielsen, illustrations by David Morton, me that I did in grad school, and then thanks to Frank Netter for this picture of the dumping in of the parotid duct.